Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. Mm, collective, collective, collective. I've got yet another vision to share with you. And it is on the darker side. I will ask that you cleanse your energy before I get into this. Take the time to cleanse your energy now, please. And please cleanse your energy after this reading. If you know, you're following my readings, you know by now that I take my visions um, and my channel messages very seriously. I do not dilute them. I say what I see. I see what I'm being told to say by the Most High God the archangels, and the ancestors. I don't change anything. If I see it, I say it. This is something that literally is connected to one of my last videos that I uploaded. And, you know, I take the energy as it comes because I want to understand what's going on so I can pass the message on to the collective. The reading was already done. I stepped away for a moment that I had some vision and it is directly connected to one of the videos that I uploaded that the devil is coming to collect from this karmic feminine. I got a confirmation of exactly what is happening, that the devil really is coming to collect this karmic feminine. Please take the time to cleanse your energy collective, call in the appropriate protections to protect any energy that you may take away. I never want to project that energy. So please can make sure you take all preventative measures to protect your energy from understanding what's going on outside of you. Okay. Let's get into it. The first energy that's coming out is the Knight of Swords in the upright. This is the energy of creating chaos, conflict, sudden change, travel by air, air communication with the sword this is words creating chaos with words creating conflict with words quickly confidently courageously confidently creating conflict with words this comes out right next to the wheel of fortune in the upright which does not make sense because wheel of fortune is good luck fortune you know getting um, confidence in a new beginning you know, things going the way that it's supposed to be, but how can conflict and chaos do that? The reason is because the page of pentacles in the upright, somebody was a student, somebody invested in somebody in something, somebody learned something and they had the strength to do it. You guys, I, I hopefully, I hope you guys understand by now with these readings, I, I don't just say things. If it's in the energy, I call it like it is. I don't say anything other than what's in the energy and what, com what comes out through my cards or my downloads. There are people around you doing black magic, specifically chaos magic. This Knight of Swords in the upright, this is chaos magic. People who do chaos magic do it with a goal in mind. That goal is to get their Wheel of Fortune in the upright, to get good luck and fortune. They invest in it. Page of Pentacles and the Upright, they invest in it. They become a student of black magic. They become a, a student of chaos. They have or want the strength, the willpower, the fortitude to do whatever that black magic spell is. All it is is black magic darkness following, you know, chaos magic coven or whatever you call it i don't care who these people are they're following the devil tell them i said it send them to this video i don't think these people are ashamed of them following the devil i think they wear it as a badge of honor they shouldn't the devil's the, the loser the first loser why would you be proud to follow the very first loser in existence but whoever these people do they take the time to learn chaos magic, black magic, 
how to how to get their good luck and fortune and i said this on a prior video when people face towers they don't know how to heal they don't want to heal they're bitter broken people they hate the world they hate themselves like the joker said some some people just want to watch the world burn that's this energy people who are broken heartbroken bitter ugly evil they just want to watch the world burn page of pentacles and the upright energy they go to something that they can learn to do it invest in be a student at and they have the strength to do it fall into the clutches of black magic following evil following the devil to create chaos magic to get good luck and fortune for them these people are all around you whether you know it or not collective these are the people that smile in your face and stab you in the back as soon as you turn around these are the people that gossip about you using that sword energy conflict with words gossip about you slander your name these are these people black magic doesn't always have to be hocus pocus it can be as simple as gossip it was words meant to cause chaos to get somebody's wheel of fortune and they learn how to do it master manipulators backstabbers people who are envious and jealousy carrying one of the seven deadly sins collective my vision is another confirmation of what i'm keep saying y'all i don't make this stuff up it comes to me in visions and downloads and i communicate what i'm told to say and what i see in my visions first the word stygian came to me i don't even use the word so i had to look it up so literally grabbing my phone i don't use the word stygian stygian Quick Google search says Stygian means very dark and a, a expounded definition says extremely dark, gloomy, or forbidding. The dark and gloomy sense of Stygian is a figurative one as the original meaning of the word was decidedly literal meaning of the river Styx. The river Styx is in hell, y'all. When I tell you that there's demonic people De demons moving in people to gossip about you slander you backstab you i am not joking i don't use the word stygian stygian is a confirmation that there was dark energy from the river sticks of hell there was a demon around you and y'all i saw it i literally saw this demon it looked small decrepit it looked feminine it kind of had like little twisted horns but it was crawling out of the river sticks on a boat and it was like dripping with like black sludge like black gray sludge dripping off of it like it was trying to escape hell and it was trying to come back on the boat collective this is the karmic feminine this is the karmic feminine this is the stygian energy this karmic feminine literally was the the person that i called out in the reading that the devil came to collect it did the karmic feminine soul was harvested by the devil and i literally got a mental vision pic pictorial explanation of what happened y'all mm. i saw this karmic feminine trying to crawl out of the river sticks onto the boat to come back but you know what i also saw the leviathan and i had to look up the leviathan too because all i know was that was in a book that was in an old book so i had to look it up let me look this up real quick again hold on y'all I had to look this up the leviathan is a sea serpent noted in theology and mythology this is referenced in several books several books of the hebrew bible including psalms the book of job the book of isaiah and the book of enoch the leviathan is often an embodiment of chaos literally like i just said here 
threatening to eat the damned with their life when their lives are over. In the end, it is annihilated. Christian theologians identify the Leviathan with the demon of the deadly sin envy. According to uh, some diagrams, the Leviathan encapsulates the space of the material world. Y'all, this comic feminine literally was the devil did come to collect. I, y'all, I have to look these things up. There, I get these visions, and they are connected to something. Literally, what I just say, Knight of Swords in the, in the upright. This is the energy of chaos. Somebody used chaos magic. The Leviathan was coming to come collect this demon, the karmic feminine, who was already already harvested back to hell, trying to escape in the vision that I saw. The Leviathan is the embodiment of chaos, threatening to eat the damned when their lives are over. This karmic feminine's life is over. She gave her life. She gave her life to the devil and failed miserably at the mission to take down one of God's children, you collective. Please cleanse your energy. I don't want to project any negative energy that you might carry around. Please cleanse your energy. Please cleanse your energy. My visions are always confirmations of something, which is why I take great pride in making sure that I pass the message as it's supposed to have been passed. The significance of this is what's coming out here. This Ace of Pentacles. This Ace of Pentacles is accepting an offer. Getting or receiving, uh, re giving or receiving an offer. Somebody accepted an offer of this chaos magic, this black magic, this demonology, this, this offer from the devil. Somebody accepted it. Now this person... Carries the energy of the four cups in the upright. They're bored. They're discontent. They're apathetic. They don't, they're not interested in this offer anymore. You see how that ace of pentacles went down to this little thing that they're ignoring? See? But it was all the rage when they were using chaos magic and black magic to get their wheel of fortune in the upright, wasn't it? It was all the party. This energy is the energy of your ex collective. This person who indulged in black magic with this karmic feminine, they saw this karmic feminine go straight to hell. The devil did come to collect this karmic feminine. Four pinnacles in the inverse is the energy of a miser, somebody that's inflexible, somebody that has a fear of loss. They're financially reckless. Oh, this is the same person that was investing in black magic. They're reckless with their own energy. They're reckless with their own life. They sold their soul to the devil. Oh yeah, they're 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 reckless. They're reckless with their own soul, which is why they don't care about anybody else's, right, Collective? This person is now embodying the energy of the Four Swords. They want, they're taking time away to have peace, patience, meditate. In prior readings, I see this as, I saw it as somebody using that black magic, but coupled with this, or, you know, using that time to connect to that black magic, but this Ace of Pentacles going down to the Four of Cups, this person doesn't think that black magic is cool anymore. It's Four of Cups energy. They're bored. They're discontent. They're apathetic about what they invested in. It's not a party anymore. It never was. It was all an illusion. Like I said, I said this on a prior reading. The devil will make you think you're having a good old time while you're going straight to hell. It's a party. You're doing all the things that the devil wants you to do. Crime, drugs, overindulging in sex, you know, alcohol, manipulating people, lying to yourself and others. Oh yeah, the devil's gonna make you think it's a good old party. You're having fun, thinking everything's a good old joke. It's not too much of a joke when the devil comes to collect your soul and you literally look like the vision that I had. It's not funny, is it? It's not funny when you actually start having blowbacks, backfires, your life sucks, your life is crumbling. This is the rewards of working for the devil. You reap what you sow. You put out evil in the world and you get evil back. These people doing black magic don't get it until it hits them and knocks them on the butt.
this is why this four of swords is here this person is having to pray i would i just put this i man the very last video I uploaded i said somebody needed to pray there's no man somebody needs to pray for real this four of swords came out y'all i don't be talking to hear myself talk somebody needs to pray for real because they were literally messing with the devil some karmic feminine literally got taken straight to hell where she belongs where that demon belongs i also had another vision when the Levine, when the Levine thing came to take her back off the boat because she was trying to escape hell on the boat, it looked like the Levine thing like plucked her out. And it, the vision that I got was if y'all y'all ever seen the movie uh, Mortal Kombat two, Mortal Kombat two, and the movie. Remember when the fake tattoos to give you passage through the underworld? It was like a fake one. The real people had passage to and uh, to the underworld and to the the upper realms, right? With a fake tattoo, it as soon as you die, it comes off. That's literally what I saw. That literal vision in the Mortal Kombat 2 video. This comic feminine had a fake pass to pass between the worlds. She was a phony. Devil came to collect. She could not deliver on the promise of taking you down, collective, because you're one of God's children that has a promise of everlasting life. This person didn't know who they were messing with. That tattoo came right off of her just like it did in that Mortal Kombat 2 video. I think I'm going to find a clip of that and show you what I saw and put it in the comment section so you can see what I mean. But yeah, this masculine is in the Four Swords energy. Looking at all them swords they put in the back, in your back. They're feeling them now. They're feeling the swords. Last reading that I put out, they had Ten of Wands. Those are the Ten of Wands they wanted for you, wanted you pressed, overwhelmed, and burdened. They're feeling it. It's called karma. Now they're having to pray. Energy is coming out next as a judgment in the inverse. I feel like this person is judging themselves harshly. Um, this could be that they're avoiding accountability, but I don't feel that with the Ace of Pentacles going down to the Four of Cups in the, uh, in the upright. They regret doing this black magic. They're seeing the rewards of the karmic feminine going down in flames, going straight to hell where she belongs. This person is like, I was a fool to get involved in this. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Did, I don't know. This person, either they, one, I, I know that they don't have faith, but two, they did not believe in God. I don't know if they knew that you believed in God or they thought it was a joke. This person is realizing your faith is not a joke. You really believe in God and that's exactly what protected you because these people were messing around with the devil and the devil came to collect their souls. That karmic feminine went straight to hell. She might be a walking around soulless right now. She's like probably gonna be like a walking zombie. Like I literally saw her trying to escape hell. The devil's like, no, 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 no. You wanted me, you got me, baby. These people doing black magic, they think it's a game, boy. They're getting played by the devil. And when he's ready to come collect because you're a loser and you fail at it, just like he did, he's going to be like, you weren't going to win anyway because I knew that that was God's child and they were protected. <laughs> the devil played them, fools. These people, they don't get it until they lose epically. This masculine is judging himself really harshly, trying to figure out why in the world did he go down that path. Oh, it was all fun and games, wasn't it? It was all a big party. The devil's not going to let you see that this is not like healthy. The devil is not going to let you see that this is not good for you. The devil is not going to let you see that he's tricking you out of your soul. He's tricking you. I heard tricking you out of the soulmate or twin flame. Tricked him out of a twin flame union. I told y'all that before, y'all. This keeps coming up as confirmation after confirmation. The devil wants nothing more than to take these twin flame soulmate contracts for himself. Steal them. That was that was the goal. There is literally a demon. Their literal job is to do that. This masculine is judging himself harshly for doing this chaos magic and accepting the gift of the devil to do black magic against you. The reason is because you got the chariot in the uh, upright coming out. You're moving forward in positive movement. Um, you know, while they see that they missed out an opportunity with you, it's like they they're looking at the train going by. Like you're like. You're on a sky train, you know what I'm saying? You're you're flying by, flying by with this uh, chariot energy, positive forward movement, courageous, confident. You you have confidence in where you're going in life. 
Meanwhile, this person sitting down here in the Four of Cups, wishing that they were with you, watching you go by. And that's how you're showing up. You're showing up as a higher fun. This, are, this is especially for you guys who are on your spiritual throne, using your spiritual gifts. You know, you, you understand the spiritual warfare that you're in or we're in, right? You understood that this was a battle between good and evil. You understood that you were always going to win that battle using your spiritual gifts. The Hierophant is somebody who's um, a, a spiritual leader. You know, they, they do assist in either a group form, you know, religious form, or, you know, whether it's informal or not. You're somebody who is guiding other people religiously or in some type of organized group. That's you. You're a spiritual leader. This was a spiritual battle. I'm not getting these prophetic messages for no reason, talking to you about demons and this karmic going to hell and the devil coming to collect her soul. This is a straight battle. This is not made up. This is not fiction. This is not for play play. This is real life in this spiritual world. We have left uh, Kansas, Dorothy. <laughs> okay. We have left Kansas, but this is the world underneath the 3D. When you were really connected, you really understand that there are demons moving in people with an actual agenda. They have an agenda. And they are they are students of that agenda. They want to learn how to be the best wizard out there. The best warlock. Oh yeah, it's a competition. Crabs in a barrel. They got to figure out who, who can be the best liar. <laughs> but you hire fun. You also embody the energy of the hermit. Most hire funds do. You take time in solitude, but you're a wise person. Because you are alone, you have the time to connect to yourself, the most high, your archangels, and your spirit guides. Right? You are someone that listens. And you can actually see. You know without knowing. It's high priestess energy, right? You use your intuition, your spiritual gifts. In your hermit stage, you can separate yourself from society to step back and be able to see demons moving in people. You don't see what people say when they're trying to be duplicitous and be, you know, two-faced to you. You see behind, you see by all that, you know, they're not going to fake you out. You can see them when you're in that hermit mode, when you step back from society and really see pe how people move, look at their intentions. You can see when people are doing chaos against you, gossiping about you to try to get good luck and fortune for themselves. You can see it. Spiritual leaders, higher funds. This is your mission. This is your life goal. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Exposing these demons and making sure they go right back to hell where they belong. Okay? So ask for some more clarifiers. First clarifier. Empress. Hello, Empress. This is you. This is you. This is beautiful energy for y'all. You're not only the higher font, you got the chariot. You were in hermit mode and you're the Empress. These are all major arcanas. You are powerful, baby. You are the one that sent that comic feminine back to hell. And that's why the demon came to collect because this energy is way too powerful. This karmic feminine couldn't stand up to you if she tried on her tippy tiptoes, okay? She couldn't. This karmic feminine was nothing to you. Not a nobody, which is why she went straight to hell. Because the devil was sick and tired of her games. <laughs> Empress energy. You're someone who's fertile, abundant. You're nurturing. You're caring. You are very creative. You're connected with Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, right? You're a ruler of your own um, your own energy, which is no surprise that you come out right next to a higher font. Empresses um, often are higher fonts on their spiritual throne, using their spiritual gifts to help other people. You know, and that's why I said on my prior videos, y'all, use your story to help somebody else. A lot of the collective go through very similar things. We're just on different timelines. Don't be ashamed of what happened to you because it happened for you, not to you, okay? Let me say it again. It happened for you and not to you, okay? You are coming out like gangbusters literally sending demons straight to hell you're a demon slayer I told you next clarifier what i just say literal demon slayer five of pentacles <laughs> five of pentacles you left somebody out in the cold which is this uh, masculine ex of yours this karmic ex who accepted the gift of the devil oh he thought that that lying whore that karmic feminine that was going to be the lifestyle that was going to be what was hot that was a demon sent to corrupt them and they accepted that demon gift this, thus corrupting them. They sold out. They sold their soul. They don't think it's a party no more. Nah. Because mm -mm. you're watching this karmic feminine go down in flames straight to hell. It's not funny, is it? It's not cute, is it? She isn't cute anymore. She's not attractive anymore. She's not even funny anymore, is she? All those things that you loved about her, you're starting to hate. Four cups. Bored. Apathetic. Discontent. 
you feel like you missed out on the collective, don't you? Mm-hmm. You missed out. You absolutely did, which is why this person feels like the Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold, having some type of disruption under finance, security, and stability. Next, next energy. Eight of Wands. This is an energy of speed, movement, travel, perhaps some type of communication. I feel like somebody wants to talk to you or come to you, possibly. Next at Clarifiers, this energy is the Two of Swords, being an indecision, being stuck at a stalemate, deciding not to decide. I think somebody wants to tell you that they messed up and they're left out in the cold. I mean, like, you already know. You left them out in the cold after they left you out in the cold. It was just like, honey, we're, we're good. Peace. Have a nice life. You know what I'm saying, Collective? We are good. This person is in a state of regret at this time. They want to communicate and come to you and tell you, yeah, they didn't choose you. Well, that, duh. And they also, our last clarifier wants to come tell you that they are thinking for themselves or getting out of their self-limiting beliefs. This person does need to pray. No, all jokes aside, y'all. Y'all, God is still in the soul-saving business, especially when this person was literally around demonic energy. The only energy that can help them is God, the most high. You know, so even, and I, I keep saying it because I, I truly do believe God is always in the soul saving business. You can, you can be on your dying deathbed and you've done a lot of things wrong. And if you're ready to accept God's call, you'll know it, but only you will know it. Nobody else can tell you that. God is still trying to reach people. I don't know if it's this person time. It may be, it may not be, but somebody wants to come talk to you and tell you that they didn't choose you. But at the same time, they're trying to get out of their self-limiting beliefs. That party ain't a party no more with the karmic feminine. That karmic feminine really was demonic. That karmic feminine really was a demon. And they accepted that demon. That's a sexually transmitted demon that got moved straight to them. It's not fun anymore, is it? This person's thinking for themselves now. We'll have to see what happens in the next energy, especially how this person's coming, because it's often going back and forth, back and forth. And that's what happens with demonic energy. You're all over the place in your emotions, your actions, and your behavior. Nothing is ever right. This person needs to get out and from around demonic energy for them to cleanse their energy, cleanse their chakras, move out of their heart chakra, go to the most high God and heal away from the collective. That's what this person needs to do. Remains to be seen if they will. Taking that uh, eight of swords uh, in the inverse energy. If they're thinking from the, for themselves, they should take that opportunity, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and get a mystical oracle card so we can help our energies move forward. Card 44, stranded. Let's see what this card says. Look at this younger sailor stranded with his ship on top of a tall tree. He needs his anchor to help him get back down to earth. This card asks, how did the ship get there? This is such an unusual place for a seafaring vessel. At times we feel the same. We find ourselves in situations we can't quite understand. Sometimes we feel we've made mistakes because our expectations are so high. We set ourselves up for failure, of course. We either beat ourselves up over our performance or we are too intimidated that we never even begin again. Failure is a necessary part of success. It's as important to the journey as a rudder on a ship. Exactly. This person failed following the karmic feminine demon that they went straight to hell. The devil came to collect. This person feels stranded now. This is the energy that I'm feeling with that two of swords. Very heavy. The choice is up to them now. They have to make a decision and get out of this two of swords energy. Let's go ahead and get a, a divine nature oracle and we'll wrap this up. Card 12, transformation. See what this says? Or transform, rather. The Greek word for soul is psyche, often depicted as a butterfly because of the soul's capacity for transformation. You want to live in a life that has tight, cramped quarters of the crystallis. It is a rebirthing space between the life that no longer fits you and the new life awaiting you. This moment is urging you to surrender to the dark that will cause your rebirth. Let the ill-fitting, underserving, too tight beliefs, thoughts, actions, and a beliefs die off. They may have served the person you once were, but they do not serve the psyche as it wishes to be reborn in you now. Only by releasing what no longer serves you can you discover the new winged life waiting on the other side of the crystallis. New wings await you, and they are glorious. Remains to be seen, you know, the fruits of the labor of doing black magic and, you know, following the devil and dark demonic energy, however it shows up, chaos magic, gossiping, lying on people, stalking people, doing crimes. The, that, those are all the devil's tools. And the devil does come to collect when you ultimately fail. You end up stranded. You need to transform. 
That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.